YouTube crew, what is going on? And welcome back to another video. Now today I'm going over something super simple that I want you to work on that will allow you to take less damage while getting more kills and ultimately start winning more 50-50 situations. So as always, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you comment hashtag Warzone down in the comments below and let's get into it. Now the format for today's video is I'm going to be giving you a few different tips that you can immediately implement into your gameplay while rolling some highlights from an 18 kill win that I had the other day where I use these tips to ultimately, as I said, get 18 kills, but I also take very little damage. Before we get into it, as always, if you are looking to continue getting better Warzone, whether it's Verdansk or Rebirth, make sure you are subscribed to that notification bell turned on. I do videos every single day helping people get better Warzone. And if you want to catch me live, I do live commentaries and live gameplay breakdowns over on Twitch as well, so make sure you drop a follow there. Now, today's tip is something that I talk about all the time, yet I still feel that it's something people really struggle with and don't actually implement into their gameplay. You hear me say it, you understand that I say it, yet you don't take it and actually put it into your own gameplay, and it's something for people of all skill levels. I don't care if you're a .5, I don't care if you're a 2.5, a 3.5, there are situations that you are not actually doing this well enough and that is anticipating your enemies. Smoke. It is one of the biggest differences between people that are low we skill level and people that are high skill level. And in, this is gonna help you across a range of situations. Anticipating enemies will allow you to win more 50-50 situations. It will allow you to get more kills while taking less damage, which will ultimately allow you to start to do things like solo spicy. duo, solo trio, and solo quad. Really you know, awesome when now, we're in those solo situations, anymore. we need to be able to get kills without taking damage and anticipating enemies oh, yeah, allows us to do that. So I'm gonna give you a few different tips Again, throughout this gameplay, I am anticipating enemies really well, and you'll see how I'm able to get kills without taking a lot of damage. Oh, now, tip number one for anticipation, and you're going to see this a lot throughout this control center fight, is to understand where your enemies are, but more importantly, understanding where your enemies are actually moving to. Now, I know this sounds obvious, and a lot of you probably feel you do this already using your minimap, using your audio cues. But this is the first tip to being better about anticipation. And without this, then we can't get into tips two, three, and four. You know, we have to understand where our enemies are. Are they sitting at the top of the stairs not moving? Or are they below us moving towards a stairwell? And no matter where they are, based on the information that we have, we need to kind of oh, meet them at a spot That's that is advantageous for us. And when we meet them at that spot, we need to be anticipating and ultimately be ready for Do them, which gets into tip number to? two. No, really. Now, tip number two is something that I think a lot of people understand the concept of. They hear me say it. They're like, Joe, I hear you. I know I have to do this. And then you go into gameplay and you don't do it. You just kind of forget about it. And that is centering. And when we talk about centering, we're talking about putting our crosshairs where we think our opponent is going to be. Now, this is where I talk about we can't get into tips two, three, and four before we talk about tip number one, which is understanding where our enemies are moving to. So when we understand where our enemies are moving to, and then we put ourselves in a good position, now we need to put our crosshairs where oh, we anticipate needing them, right? Going back to that previous example, if I know somebody is below me and they are pushing up a stairwell and I'm going to go challenge oh them, then I need to put my crosshairs exactly where so I think well I'm going today. to meet that person. I need to anticipate where I'm going to engage that person and have my crosshairs ready. And this really does two things. First is you are engaged. You are ready to challenge this person. It is just a preparation thing. But second is now in order to hit shots, especially upper torso shots, all you have to do is make a slight micro adjustment. You are ready for that person to be there. So in order to hit those upper torso, it's just a small little change. And again, this is something that I think people hear me say. They understand the concept of centering, but they don't do oh it well gosh, when they're actually guys, playing. So if you can make right this now, slight adjustment MP5. and start to really focus on centering your crosshairs, I promise you, you will start to get more kills while taking less damage because you are putting your crosshairs where you think that person is going to be. It's going to be a quicker reaction to all ultimately hit shots and then you make the micro adjustments that you need now tip number three and this one is almost funny to me because of how often i see it happen and as i mentioned these are building blocks so tip number one is to understand where your enemies are and where they're moving to tip number two is to center based on where you expect to engage that person and tip number three is be ready to shoot. Now, hear me out on this one. We, again, are talking about how can we take less damage and get more kills? How can we win more 50-50 situations? And so many times, I see people perfectly anticipate where an enemy is moving to. I see them perfectly center their crosshairs, and yet they get to that situation and they almost oh can't gosh. believe how perfect they anticipated it. And they take a half second to be like, oh my gosh, that person's actually there, or, and they freeze up. And this happens a lot in buildings. You know, when somebody's at the top of a stairwell, somebody rounds a corner, they're centered well, they are anticipating them well, 
yet they're not ready to actually shoot. You know, if you are very confident in where you are anticipating an enemy being, I want you to pre-fire that corner. I want you to be so confident about your ability to anticipate somebody that you are pre-firing and saying, I know you are right here. I am going to break you before you even understand where I am, oh before God. you even understand that I'm at the bottom of the stairwell. So I need you to be ready to shoot when you are anticipating enemies, when you understand where an enemy is, when you center your crosshairs. The last thing is to just be ready to shoot and ultimately take control of that situation and be confident in your ability to anticipate enemies. Now, where I really see this happening a lot is actually my one to two KD players. Players that use the mini map well, they understand where people are and where they're rotating to. They center well, but they almost look for a confirmation before pulling that trigger. You know, if you are confident in your anticipation of where somebody is, I want you to pre-fire that corner. Get a few bullet advantage. We are talking about getting more kills while taking less damage, and that's something that will really help you in sweaty lobbies. Now, tip number four, and this one's going to be obvious, but again, you have to hit your shots. You have to execute. You can anticipate perfectly. You can put yourself in a great position, but if you don't hit your shots, then none of it matters. And we can go one step further here and talk a little bit about how we can use movement and anticipation together. You know, anticipating enemies, and then we slide around corners. We start bunny hopping around corners to really catch our opponent by surprise, use the movement to our advantage, hit our shots, and now we are basically taking no damage at all while getting kills. So I hope you found today's video helpful. As I always say, make sure you're subscribed, and let's get better today, and I will see you tomorrow.